This one is about where diffusers should be set for heating. Okay, this is a diffuser. There's an adjustment on it for volume. Most of the time we like to leave them open if we can. Okay, that is distributing the heat to the structure. Now you notice this thing is in the floor. And the placement is right below a window. Ooh, who's that ugly guy? Ugh, God, get out of there. Uh, so why did we place it underneath a window? There's good reason. So let's take a look at what happens in cold weather and a window. Okay. The window is the biggest heat loss you have in the house per square foot. It's two, maybe three pieces of glass, sometimes it's one piece of glass. So the heat is going to go out these things very quickly. And because the window itself is cold, air inside is going to touch up against it and it's going to start to drop. Well, as it drops, it'll go on the floor, it'll roll down the wall, it'll go on the floor, and it'll, it'll uh, just lay on the floor. Cold air is more dense than hot air, so it's going to go down to the bottom. Okay, people's feet foot, are there. Your feet get cold. Feet get cold, the rest of you feels cold too. So, when we put this diffuser underneath the window, that diffuser is going to move air up to this window and it's going to disrupt that flow of cold air down with some warm air up. That keeps the floors warmer. That's what that's about. So when a heating duct is placed in the floor on a high loss area like a window, doors are the same thing. We want these things next to the highest heat loss so we don't get the cold drafts on the floor. That's why they're placed there. Heat goes up, you might as well start out with it on the floor because by the time it goes up and reaches the ceiling, it's going to have reduced its temperature considerably. That's going to keep from having things like stratified air. Uh, the more air movement you have off of these things, the less stratified air too. So you don't want stratified air hot up in the ceiling. You don't want it up there. It doesn't do any good up there. So if my, and I'll go over this in another video, but if I have them on the ceiling, they're not as effective. But by the time we get from the floor to the ceiling, the air is cooled off. That gives us the comfortable air inside the house. Placing the diffusers on the floor near the high uh, loss areas is going to counteract any cold drafts on the floor. Okay, the next video we're going to look at ceiling registers. And where sometimes ceiling registers are good depends on what you're doing. But this one is about the floor register and where it's set.